Sometimes you want to count your users as active only if they've done your key action on multiple days in a week or multiple weeks in a month. This can be a good indicator of your product being sticky because the user comes back to use your product even after some days or weeks have passed. This looks impossible at first when you look through Mixpanel's report building features, but it's actually totally doable if you know where to look. To do this, you have to use the cohorts feature. So come over here to the top right of the screen, data management icon, click on it, and then choose the cohorts option. On the cohorts page, click the create cohort button on the top right, which allows you to create a new cohort of users. Now for this example, we're using the media sample demo data set. You see the name over here on the top right. This sample data set comes for free with Mixpanel and it's essentially fake data for a platform just like YouTube. So the events in it are things like watching a video, liking, subscribing, commenting, and other actions that you're I'm sure familiar with. So let's say the key action that we care about here is watching a video. And you wanna count the number of users that have watched a video in two distinct days over a seven day period. You start by clicking the filter button over here and selecting the action, which in this case is watch video. Remember that we said we want people who have done it on two of seven days. Right now this just says 30 days, so we're gonna change this to say seven days. Right now the cohort says anybody who has watched a video in a seven day window is included in the cohort. To change that, we come over here to where it says total, click on it, hover down to aggregate properties, and you'll notice that one option is distinct count. So we select that. Once you select that, it says, okay, the distinct count of which property? Now every mix panel event has a default property called time, which is essentially just the time that the event was triggered, like when it occurred. If I click on that, it gives me one more option where it says, okay, which aspect of the time do you care about? In this case, we care about the day. We want the event to have occurred on two distinct days. So I select day. Now it's counting the distinct days that the user has watched a video. The final step is that you change the number over here to be two or more. Now, this cohort is only gonna count users who watched videos on two or more distinct days in a seven day window. And that's it. So now let's visualize that. We start by giving the cohort a name. So I'm gonna say users active two or more days out of seven. I'm going to save the cohort. Now that we have the cohort, we can do things like visualize how it has changed over time. So we do that by coming over to this three dots button at the end of the row, and we click visualize trend. Very easily, it takes us to a insights report that it generates with that cohort demonstrated over time. Right now it's taking a sec to load, so I'm just gonna refresh it. There we go, that does the trick. And this shows how the cohort size has changed over time. Now remember that cohorts are dynamic, which means that when a user meets the requirements of the cohort, they will be in the cohort, and when they no longer meet it, they will leave the cohort. So if someone is active two or more days out of seven, they'll be in it, but then if they go dormant for seven days and don't do anything, they leave the cohort. That's why you're able to see the size of the cohort change over time. So if you define active users, anybody who has watched a video two or more days out of seven, then this is how you can count your weekly active users with a chart just like this. And I can always take this and say, make it be three months and on a weekly period to get exactly the thing that I want. And you can do the exact same thing with weeks out of a month instead of days out of the week too. So I'm gonna go back to my cohorts and I'm gonna open up the same cohort I had before. Right now it says, did watch video distinct count two or more days in seven days. But instead I can click on here, select time and switch it to weeks instead. And instead of having this be last seven days because we want you know two separate weeks in that period, I'm gonna change it to say 30 days. So now it's gonna see if you were active on two separate weeks in a 30 day window. Now I can save it, you know, give it a name. I'm gonna call this two or more weeks out of 30 days. Save it and go back to visualize the trend again.
So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out some of the other Mixpanel and product analytics tutorials on this channel. Or if you really want to up your game, go to our website where we offer the ultimate product analytics course, which helps any product manager become a product analytics expert. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day.